You are in the temple of the rants where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for Ethan T who said, rant about your favorite outfits in K-On. The world needs anime fashion content. I agree. Unfortunately, this is really hard to do without literally going through the entire show, finding every outfit and, uh, you know, getting screen caps of them. Um, and ultimately, I guess... In saying that, I have to admit that I don't think K-On! has any outfits that particularly stand out in my mind. Like, I love the outfits in the show because they are varied, because they say something about the character's personality, and that there are, you know, there's such a variety of outfits, they look realistic, they give you the sense of, you know, they bring the world to life a little bit deeper, um, and they're cute. But they're all fairly, you know, they're fairly normal outfits, um, which is not necessarily a problem. Like, I can think of anime outfits that do stand out in my mind. A lot of outfits from Lucky Star or from uh, the, the one girl's shirt in fucking Sore Demo Machi Wa Mateiru. I can't remember what it says on it, but she has a really great shirt. Or, like, the one shirt from Watamote. Like... There's not any one shirt in Kaon that stands out in my memory. I do remember in like episode two when Yu Yuki Yui ah, Yui's crossing the street. She's wearing some kind of yellow thing on her shirt, but I can't remember what it was. You know, I I tend to like outfits that have like overalls or some kind of really distinctive piece. You know, I'm somebody who dresses like a fucking weirdo, so like when I see characters who dress a little bit weird but still cute, that tends to be what I gravitate towards. Um, I guess I would say Yui has my favorite fashion sense in K-On. Um, Mio wears some pretty good outfits sometimes as well. Uh, and of course, you, with K-On, you get the joy of seeing them in the OP and ED outfits, which are always great. Of course, the fucking legendary one from the uh, Don't Say Lazy ED or Listen those are all fantastic outfits, or even the last one, uh, fucking no thank you. All great outfits in those EDs. Very stylish, very cool. Um, I, I say my least favorite outfits in K-On are all the cosplay outfits they end up wearing, which is just from the manga. Like, I think that the manga was going for more of that kind of, like, fetishistic appeal of cute girls in fucking, you know, uh, skimpy maid outfits or whatever. And, like... It's funny because, you know, in the manga you don't have them in all the everyday clothes that the anime goes so far with and, like, are so much better than the cheesy um, cosplay outfits, you know. Not that all of them are bad. Some of them are great. Yui in the Santa outfit or um, the, the maid cafe outfits in particular are pretty good. You know, KyoAni still knows how to design a good outfit regardless of what it is, but... They are just a lot tackier than the, the, the excellent street clothes. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, can't give you any specific ones because there's none that are in my memory. Um, one day I want to start up a series on anime outfits. I've been meaning to do this for years. I just haven't had the right, like, you know, I haven't rewatched Lucky Star, which is like has always want, been the one I wanted to do first. So, like... As soon as I watch a show, rewatch a show that has great outfits, I fucking promise I will finally get around to doing this. But K On wouldn't be my first choice. Lucky Star, Momo Kuri, uh, Sakura Quest, fucking. Uh, what was the other one I had in mind? There was some show that we watched. Maybe, maybe like um, Fancy Lala. Those are all shows I'd pick first, but, you know, still, great outfits in K-On! in general.